Good morning, Hornet fans. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. December has finally arrived. We had a beautiful week last week with some amazing weather, um, but this morning it's a little cold out there. Uh, busy week last week. Uh, first of all, our high school Scholars Bowl, they went to a tournament last week with 16 teams and brought home third place, so that's awesome. Congratulations to Coach Chaplin and uh, the team on a wonderful showing. They don't have another event until after Christmas, so we look forward to seeing how they come back strong after Christmas. Last week was really busy for a junior high basketball team. Tell us about that. Yep, it was a busy week for our junior high basketball teams last week. Um, Monday, Jetmore came to town. Both the A and girls teams lost. Um, the B team boys did pick up a win, and the A team boys lost. Um, but I saw some good basketball going on on Monday. Then Tuesday, you you traveled to Oberlin, didn't you? I did. I spent a little time in the car going to Oberlin. Yeah, yeah. And the A and B team girls both won. Um, the A team boys lost, but the B, T B team boys did win. So we got three wins right there on Tuesday. And then Thursday, um, we hosted Tribune. Um, another good showing by both of our girls' teams. Um, our boys' teams both came up on the short end, but did see some good competition. Um getting ready for tournament time. Tournament time for those teams Crawl, are almost here. Crawling up on us. It is. Last week was a big week for you, Coach. It was. Coaching debut at Wauquini. Um, saw some really good things that night. Um, saw some things that we need to work on. Tell yeah. us how we did. Yeah, um, we started off with some JV boys action. Um, JV boys competed. Um, they came up short, though, against a very good Wauquini team. The varsity girls played a very solid Wauquini team as well. Um, they came up just a little short, but I really like the way they're looking already. One game in, and they're looking solid. And then the varsity boys, we came up short as well against Joaquini, against a very good Joaquini team as well. Um, so Joaquini has a lot of good things going there, a solid team overall, both boys and girls. Um, we'll get right back to it this week, though. Yep. Learn some things about your team, some things you can work on this week and get better. Yep. We do have a busy week ahead of us. We've got one thing that we need to uh, – kind of throw out there that's uh, uncertain right now, and that's our junior high game tomorrow night. Will you tell us a little about that? Yep, yep. Um, our game with Nest City tomorrow night, it's supposed to be a home game. It's kind of up in the air right now. Um, we're waiting on some confirmation um, from them on whether they're going to be able to play or not due to COVID issues. So when we know that, we will let you guys know via Facebook, um, text messages through our school um, stuff like that, but we'll make sure everyone is aware if there are changes made. So as of now, plan on it being yeah. tomorrow night here. Um, if that changes, we will get the information out to you as quickly as we can. Uh, tomorrow, we're back on the road with the high school. Sunrise, sun, sun, and what do they call it? Sunshine games? I don't know. Early in the afternoon. Sure. Yeah. Something like that. What time do you play, Coach? Tell us that. Um, the girls start off um, at 3 o'clock. They get the early game, as you were saying, what, whatever. You Sunshine. Sunshine. I don't know. Oh, well, that's before my time, I think. Um, but the girls play at 3 o'clock against Wichita Central Christian Academy up in Quinter. And then the boys will follow them at 4.30 versus a very good Pawnee Heights team. Um, the girls will be in the varsity gym up in Quinter, and the boys will be playing in the JV gym. So we'll kick off our Castle Rock tournament on Tuesday, tomorrow. And how you do tomorrow will affect the times for Friday and Saturday. Yep, it will. Uh, we'll have those brackets posted up on Facebook and on our website so you can see what those times are. Uh, Thursday, junior high, I get to get in the old car again, travel to Atwood this time. Uh, change there, 3 o'clock start time. So um, at 3 o'clock, uh, junior high will start at Atwood. Do you know the order of events for those? Um, it is going to be in their varsity gym. It will be A girls followed by A boys. And in their JV gym, it will be B boys followed by B girls. So the same way we do it here. Um, but there won't be any C-team games because they have a Christmas concert tomorrow night, which is why we move, had to move the games up to 3 o'clock start. All righty. Uh, Friday is an early release, so students will be dismissed at 1230. And our seven mindsets for this week is overcoming our limiting benefits. 
Oftentimes, the biggest obstacles that we have or the things that limit us from being successful are the things that happen in our own mind and our fears, our excuses, our doubts. Um, And so we'll be talking with our kids about what some of those limiting factors are that maybe they uh, deal with and how we can overcome them. Hope you'll talk to your kids this week. Um, Get some discussion going about that with them at home as well. Anything else, Coach? Nope, another busy week. Band did a great job Saturday in the Christmas parade. Really enjoyed everything that the town did, the community. Um, that was kind of a really cool evening. Um, all of the – did you get some soup? Did you go to the soup supper? I did. Ooh, I did. Chili was pretty good. Um, but I appreciate the community putting that on for everyone and anyone that had a hand in that. It turned out great. Um, You guys have a marvelous Monday. We look forward to seeing you out this week. Uh, Go Hornets!